Uh, the 89th Academy Awards happening February 26th, but in two days you can see you can see some of the nominees. Omaha's nonprofit cinema Film Streams is hosting Oscar Shorts again this year. And that's where we're going to start with Patrick Kinney. Mm -hmm. We've got a whole lot of other stuff to cover though. Patrick, that's good right. to see you. Good to Welcome see you. Back. Thanks for making yeah, it in this morning. Yeah, it's great to be here. Hey, thanks for thanks, making thanks it thanks in. It was, a, it was a nail biter, <laughs> but uh, but everybody drove slow. No kidding. We did it. No, it was mm -hmm. fine. Uh, Oscar Shorts is what we're talking about. We're kind of right. leading up to the Oscars. Uh, how does this work? So what happens is uh, we have a connection with some people who every year they put a package together of all of the Oscar nominated short films. There's three categories that they get nominated in, animated, live action, and documentary. Mm -hmm. The animated and live action start this Friday, those packages, and then the documentaries will start Friday after, so that's mm -hmm. the 17th. Yeah, so these aren't the films that you would go to a mainstream theater and feel like, yeah, it's the, the big guys, you know, right. they put them out and had all the buzz surrounding them but nominees nonetheless. So film yeah. students love these or what? Yes, this is one of our biggest programs every year. Mm -hmm. So we're expecting the big crowds this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, advanced tickets are always recommended for, for this yeah. program. Yeah. Good call a lot out. of people want to get in and see those. Something else starts on February 17th and it's been described as brilliantly funny and moving. What is that? This is a film called Tony Erdman, which is nominated for the best foreign feature uh, Academy Award. And this is big, this was a, announced just yesterday, as a matter of fact, they're going to make an American remake of this, and Jack Nicholson is coming out of retirement what? to be in it. Oh, no kidding. Wow. Yes, yeah, so this is the movie that's inspired him to come out of retirement. Uh, it's a German comedy. It's supposed to be absolutely fantastic. And then looking ahead, Patrick, to March 3rd, what's coming then? March 3rd is an important film called I Am Not Your Negro. It is a documentary. It's based on the final unfinished novel of James Baldwin, who mm -hmm. is an important... American intellectual and civil rights leader in the 20th century. Uh, it's narrated by Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, there's a huge buzz for this. The New York Times uh, critic called it life-altering mm -hmm. in an amazing review, and we're going to have uh, we're going to launch wow. that with a special presentation uh, with a with an introduction. And so, what's the format of it? Is it a movie? Is it? A, a, yeah. So yeah. it is. It's uh, the novel was going to tell the story of race in America. Yeah. So using uh, other work that he did, uh, archival footage, um, uh, his, his own words and Samuel L. Jackson reading his words, they uh, create what his intention was. Interesting. And that's March 3rd. That's right. Um, also on the calendar, great directors. Uh, who, who are you yes. focusing on coming Very up? Very exciting. So uh, this is a, a series, uh, something that we visit every now and then. It's a series called Great Directors. Douglas Sirk is the next director that we're focusing on. He did fantastic Hollywood melodramas in the 50s. Mm -hmm. They were seen by tons and tons of people, so they were sort of dismissed at the time mm -hmm. as just commercial fare. But uh, in the years since, they've been recognized as masterpieces. Oh. So this is going to be a very fun series. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. And then your Forever Young series. That's right. Uh, Ongoing which is always popular. Room. Yes. So mm -hmm. films that are family friendly, classics coming back to the big screen. Right now we're in the middle of The Rocketeer. Next is Homeward Bound. There Aww. you'll see an image. That's right. Yeah. And then for St. Patrick's Day, we'll have Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Uh huh. So if my count's correct, we've hit five notes. We've got a sixth yet to go. <laughs> <laughs> we're like unpacked our cubs. We try to pack ten pounds of sausage into a five-pound bag. We do a bag. good job. We do a good uh, job. The the series. It's not just for film lovers, but those who love great music too. That's right. This is Sights on Sounds. We do this uh, every other quarter usually. But they're new and reissued uh, music documentaries and films. Mm -hmm. Coming up, we're really excited this Sunday. So they're all Sundays at 7 p.m. in this series. Mm -hmm. uh, coming up is Rock and Roll High School with the Ramones. And then the series will end with wow. a film uh, called The Rolling Stones, Ole, Ole, Ole. So what is, is that a sort of chronicles a tour? Or That's what's right. the, the story with that? So it's a huge tour that they embarked on last year where they hit seven countries in Latin America, I believe, culminating in a historic show in mm -hmm. Havana. Wow. wow, so that's a documentary that's cool. style. Huh? Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. So there's a website that you might know about. <laughs> it's filmstreams.org. Um, when we set up this conversation, and yeah, you'll find him at 13th and Mike Fahey there online again, filmstreams.org, uh, phone number, um, email address there as well. When we set up this conversation describing you as Omaha's nonprofit cinema, what is unique about film streams and, and sort of why, why you started and what you continued to do? Right, so our whole idea is to, our mission is to uh, enhance the cultural environment of the Omaha Council Bluffs area through the presentation and discussion of film mm -hmm. as an art form. So that means we get to, as a nonprofit and as an organization dedicated to art, we get to pick films differently than a normal theater. 
Uh, we can pick based on artistic merit and community need rather mm -hmm. than just the bottom line. Yeah. Um, so we can show smaller films that are going to find an audience that they really need to find. We also have a membership program uh, that sets us apart in many ways uh, that offers discounts at the box office and at concessions. Uh, but yeah, really that mission-driven heart mm -hmm. is what sets us apart. And what your organization looks like now is going to be very different uh, from what it looks like in five years. You're mm -hmm. growing, right. and we'll talk about that in some later That's segments right, when you yeah. come on. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, good to see you, bud. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's great to be and here. good luck with all those series. Thank you. Well, yesterday, a trip